Hello and welcome back. So for today's video I have prepared another topic which is about how we can extract the data uh, from an RxML um, using Python and create uh, an, uh, an um, let's say a list maybe and uh, in order to create some output uh, for our needs. So for this reason, like I said, we are using uh, Python and we want, uh, in this example, we have here already prepared an uh, RxML, which is, um, we don't care uh, now what contains, but we just want to see how we can extract the data. So we have here um, some um, elements and basically we want to um, search for, for this file and uh, get all the short name uh, for all these uh, nodes. Um, and maybe some other operations if we want. So basically we want to get um, a list which contains, let's say, a can SM here and here we want to get uh, for the next one ECUC and so on. So for this reason, uh, let's uh, just uh, get uh, started. I have already prepared here uh, PyCharm and uh, let's um, start by uh, importing our necessary uh, modules so we will import OS um, then um, we will just uh, from uh, um, LXML we will import um, uh, E3 so basically this is all that we need for now let's just start create the class then the constructor um, we will give here the file name good then let's create a method which is um, called extract data good so now we can um, so we want to get the um, file name which is um, we will do it like so we try to get the absolute path here which is OS path um, abs path and here we will just we have the paths and the directory name good uh, then we want um, directxml file is in os path join and we will give the absolute path and uh, it's in uh, input I have an additional folder input where is specified the input file for this script and we will just concatenate the um, file name like so okay at this point we can we want to um, write an expression and this expression will be given to the a tree expat in order to collect the data so we have um, data expression let's say uh, one uh, which is as follows so here we want to type uh, and get um, let's say local name and we will write the name of um, our element ECU module configuration values so we can just take this one and we will type it here then we want to move forward and 
put this uh, in brackets. And we want to write again local name. And here we want to take um, the short name. Yes. Again, we want to take the short name and output this text. So we take the short name here and just as a string here. Good. At this point, I think we are uh, done with this expression and just wanted to use now. And we have data one, for example, and just provide um, the tree xpath. And we want to data expression one. Good. Um, I think we forgot to um, specify the tree here, which is E3 uh, that parse and we want to provide the RxML file. Good. Now let's return maybe this as um, a list of um, tuples, for example. So we want to return um, uh, this one and we will zip it and provide the data one for now. Good. Let's make an object now, a data object for this class, which is a parse class and we will just give the name of the file which is again specified here in the input folder and now uh, let's maybe return our data by invoking the extract data and maybe uh, let's print maybe the data just for visualization purposes. Okay, let's try and run this. Okay, we have an error intake position argument were given two. Yes, we forgot to specify here the file, uh, the file name. Good, just a typo. Let's try again. Okay, as you can see here, we have uh, the data collected and uh, a list of tuples. Okay, let's maybe do another expression here. Maybe we want also that um, expression um, two. So maybe we want, uh, let's say, uh, uh, I don't know, module description references. We want also to print and we want to take the Microsar issue implementation in this case for all of them. So we can do also this um, again, we will write another uh, expression and do it the same. So I will just copy this one and write for this one. So we have that expression two. Instead of this one, we will write. Um, so this is um, under the issue module configuration values. So this will be kept and we will copy this one and extend 
the extend the expression. So we will write instead of the short name, we will write um, module description ref. And then after this, we will take and uh, extend this one as um, with a short name and text. Yes. Okay. So we want to take from all issue module configuration. We want to take the module descriptions yes as a sub node from each of them then we will provide here data2 and data expression2 good and add this to the list okay let's check again so this one it's okay and try to to run this So this is zero. Let's put a breakpoint here and see. Maybe we wrote something wrong here. So local name issue module configuration uh, good module description ref and we have the text We did something wrong here with the um, expression. Oh yeah, there is no short name uh, uh, under this one. Okay, so we need to delete um, this one. and run again. Okay. So at this point, yeah, it was a mistake here because uh, there is no short name under model description ref. It's just uh, a text here. Okay. So at this point, I think um, we can see again, let's run this in debug mode and see um, that uh, this is the data2 which is populated here and uh, we have data1 and this uh, it's um, zipped and returned here in data as a list of tuples okay so I think we all uh, got the idea we can do maybe another um, maybe property of this and to see what we can do more and maybe let's maybe count how many um, how many issue module configuration values folders let's say not do we have here um, good so for this we can um, use another property which is uh, called count so we say um, here 
we can say um, maybe um, total expression yes is um, so we want to count so we really invoke count here and we will just give this one here so how many ECU model configuration values good and then we will just um, write here um, total is 3 xpat and total expression let's see a breakpoint here and just run so we have 21 25 tw 21 elements here and uh, yeah in this um, rxml okay i think we can uh, conclude here and um, because the idea I, uh, is already presented it and um, I hope this is uh, useful on your daily um, work. Um, thank you very much and um, see you soon. Bye.